hurts. It's devastating. But we're okay. We have our health. We're safe. My house has been burnt down. A lot of the houses on the neighborhood, from what I've been seeing on the news, are burnt down. I've been trying to get back up there, and I can't. I just bought the house a month and a half ago, my first home ever, my dream. Uh, fortunately, my wife, my myself, my dog, and my cats are out. Uh, but it's devastation, you know. Everything that we owned, everything that we've built is gone, you know, due to the fire. Because that was my dream to live in the forest in a cabin and the only thing that's left standing is a chimney. Maybe I'll build brick, I don't know. We're being evacuated. So it's a little scary, you know, having the fire so close. Just moved here in April, got everything unpacked and got settled into our beautiful new house and now we have to leave it. No, they're just small. They've been really nervous. They don't know what's going on. Scary to look at your things and say you may never see them again. You know, like the house you've worked all your life to own and your belongings. It's scary. I'm going to go in here and get some to drink. Let's go talk. All right, let's go talk. Let's go ask. What's the status here? So we just recently purchased this home in January and now the fire so it's pretty concerning um, you know just hoping that everyone is safe and everything can be replaced but it's still pretty pretty sad and then come on up to consume this mine road you can see where it makes this turn and comes north it's just really really um, disheartening and to see so much um, acreage burned and and um, so little firefighters out there um, with all the other fires going on so 